Lately, we're facing an issue that is the EU and U.S. imposed a quota upon Chinese textile exports. So um, under the umbrella of WTO, how do we solve the uh, issues like this? How do we compete fairly? Um, I mean, trade problems of that kind happen all the time because um, within any, any country, many people benefit from cheap textiles, but some people, people suffer. And there's a strong political push by the people who suffer to just put up trade barriers. And that's understandable. It's always temporary. I mean, it doesn't last very long, this, this kind of situation. Um, China should be patient because the politicians in these countries don't really want the trade barrier. They just have to do it for the time being to satisfy a certain part of their, their own public. Um, and negotiations is the way to do it. I mean, be careful that negotiations will satisfy and to be patient on this, this topic will absolutely solve the problem. The worst thing you can do is start a trade war because that, that may, that's to delay the problem and make it more complicated. You, you then, when you start the, 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 the trade negotiations, there's much more to solve. The thing to do is keep it as simple as possible and just be cool about it and, and, and just wait it out, essentially, because the, the problem never lasts very long. Well, uh, nowadays people have a lot of um, concerns regarding UN revaluation. What's your opinion upon that issue? The Chinese government should not worry about it. That, that they needn't revalue. They needn't be forced to revalue. Um, the marketplace itself will take care of it. The there will be price adjustments around the world, which will effectively re revalue. Revaluation itself is, is a quick way of, of doing something, but there's a slow way, a slower process will occur. Just just. The world itself will just do it for for will get the right correspondence of, of, of exchanges mm -hmm. of um, currencies. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to take a bit longer, but it'll happen anyway. So it's not that critical a, a, a problem for trade. Now the finance markets, which are, have a different re action reaction, want it to happen quickly, and I don't understand why that is. That's something that they. Well, five, ten years ago, Chinese econ economy was based on uh, the proactive uh, method, and then it changed, switched to the uh, prudent economy. Uh, in your opinion, where should China focus its uh, economic development within the next five, ten, twenty years? Um, you've got to keep on doing what you've been doing for the next two or three years, but the um, place you've got to most concentrate on is, is getting technology from the other developed countries. I mean, you, you don't need to reinvent, you don't need to invent new technology, just use the technology that's already available in the world and you make use of that. That, that for the next few, few years, next decade. But then beyond that, you've got to start developing your own higher education and your own inventions and your own technologies. And that's where all the um, um, characteristic um, Entrepreneurship of the, of the Chinese will, will come into into be very important, I think. Um, so that that's a long run. Then, uh, how do we maximize the strength that we have right now, and then uh, turn it into its fullest? You have to decide exactly what you want. <laughs> and um, I know your prime minister says that that they want to keep on growing at the same rate for at least five more years, and I find that very ambitious. Um, and that's fine. I mean, one should be ambitious. And Why so? Oh, he just mentioned as as the as the, as the, as the present plan is to, to is that um, maybe longer than that. But um, you must ask, you know, why do you want to grow at that rate for for how long do you want to grow and what's the purpose of growing as much as that? That's a very high rate of growth, and that, that's why it comes as a surprise that you've achieved it and will keep on going. Many economies in the past have, have grown rapidly have had a period of, of, of very slow growth after that, and so you want to make sure you don't, you don't go through that period. Professor Granger, thank you for meeting our audience at BizChina. Thank you. Pleasure.